characteristics are being non-linear. If the, there are more changes in the signal that is not being able to reach your mobile phone, then we'll use a term called IRS, Intelligent Reflecting Surface or RAS, Reconfigurable Intelligent Surface. So it is made up of uh, meta materials. So we'll be using that. It's uh, It will be of two types, active and passive. So in this project, I used passive RAS. It acts just like a mirror. If uh, we propagate a signal, it just reflects to the receiver. If the receiver is moving, uh, the signal might be lost. Yes. So this is the beginning stage of these projects. Usually these days the usage of the IoT edge devices has been increased. This has demanded for the ultra low power edge, uh, ultra low power voltage resources. Uh, using batteries in these uh, situations can be hectic as uh, we have to replace it or recharging it quickly. Uh, th at this situation we can use solar energy. But solar energy gives very low voltages. So to for a circuit to at least work, we need 2 to th 3 volts. But solar energy gives around 0 0.5 to 1 volts. So my topic is, uh, uh, is uh, developing a voltage stripler in CADN software where the input is 1 volt and giving it 3 volts. The energy it requires to uh, move this electron from uh, valency band to conduction band, it's higher. Okay. But if we uh, take perovskites, we can tune this band gap and align this uh, conduction band and valency band. So we can increase our power efficiency there. Okay. Since it's in still in uh, development uh, research phases, we are observing silicon is having higher efficiencies. But silicon has a uh, ceiling of it, uh, it can achieve the efficiency. Yeah, it's around 30 percent, I think. So, by optimizing our uh, lead-free uh, perovskite, which we selected as cesium tin germanium trioxide, we are observing we can achieve similar amount of efficiency. Yeah.